Going on, guys. Here to talk about the fight that's going to be on the Pauli Marginazzi versus Adrian Broner on the card. Um, we got the Mitchell versus Jonathan Banks. I got Jonathan Banks by knockout again, but I'm because I'm kind of curious of what Mitchell going to do, what he's going to bring, and he's going to work on his mistakes. I mean, he did say that uh, Phil Sai feel sorry for my next opponent when he comes back. He said, don't feel sorry for me. Feel sorry for my next opponent. He gonna feel sorry again if you don't work on his mistakes. How can you throw power punches and you don't set up with no jab? If you ain't setting up with no jab, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get you ain't gonna get nothing done. You can't be throwing no hooks. You can't be throwing hooks and think shit's gonna land. Jonathan Banks was very smart in that fight. Okay, in the second round, Jonathan Banks um, he let he let Mitchell hit him with a body punch and felt like he was hurt, so so he could draw Mitchell in because he knew Mitchell was going to throw a wild punch. And then after that, he counted him, and uh, Mitchell was hurt. Mitchell was hurt. Mitchell, he needs to learn how to set things up, man. He has the power. He has the power to hurt a person and get a person out of there. But how can you? How can you try to hurt a person if you ain't setting it up? If you're not setting up a... If you ain't setting up nothing with a jab, then I, I don't consider you as a complete boxer. The jab set up everything. The jab sets up everything. So Mitchell, you need to work on things, man. If you hear me out on YouTube, you need to work out... I mean, you need to work on things. Seriously, you need to work on things. Alright. What y'all think about this fight on the undercard of um, Agent Broner and um, Paula Marginaggi?